Hi everyone, my name is Gary. I'm the CEO of VX. Um, today I'm very delighted to have this opportunity to speak in this uh, Bring in AI Smart, smart uh, Safety Monitoring Solutions to BIM 360. And so I'm going to talk about these topics today. And to, just to start off, I'd like to give you a little bit background about our company first. So uh, our company is called VX. So basically our AI uh, cloud solutions and can help construction company to automate construction monitoring. Um, so a little bit about ourselves in the last few years, we are ranked as the top 50 and 100 uh, construction technology startup in 2019 uh, from PwC and Buildwell. And in 2020, we are ranked as the top 50 construction technology startup uh, by uh, uh, CMAX Venture. Um, so about our solution, uh, we have deployed our solutions in more than 50 construction sites in Asia, including Hong Kong, Singapore, China, in Japan and even Taiwan. And so some of the um, 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 construction company actually um, mentioned that we are the first Asia industrial grade AI cloud platform. And so it means that we have the most numbers of uh, new deployment for AI and monitoring in construction site in Asia. And this is a cloud solution for, so basically it's very easy for construction company to and connect the existing camera or new cameras to our cloud platform. And uh, the users can actually view and see all the data and dashboard uh, through a uh, desktop mobile phone. And so there are three major problems that we are trying to solve. So uh, productivity, project delay, and web-based injury. Our AI solutions can help the construction company to easily digitize uh, what's really happening in the construction site um, to digital data that can really bring them a lot of valuable data to help improve the uh, project scheduling, to help improve the workers' productivity, but also to try to reduce a lot of the workplace injury. So we did a survey in Asia that more than around 80% of construction sites already have uh, real-time monitoring. So they, today they are already using uh, CCTV and IP cameras to improve safety, productivity, sorry, to, to uh, measures on the security issues. And we are leveraging on the same infrastructure to improve uh, safety, productivity, and quality through our AI monitoring solutions. And today, well, um, what they're using is basically uh, through humans monitoring. They are trying to see what's happening in the construction site. They're trying to um, check on a lot of the safety um, issues on the construction site, which is very time consuming because the workers or the officers or engineers need to travel all the way to the construction site and need to do a site visit. By using remote monitoring, actually they can reduce a lot of the cost. But of course, uh, remote monitoring, if it is done by human, it still consumes a lot of time. So using AI can automate the whole process. So uh, it can run 24 hours um, uh, nonstop, but also the accuracy can be 50% higher than human. So a little bit about our AI modules. Uh, our, um, we have more than 30 different AI modules and it can be mainly categorized into three major categories. So we can track on different workers, um, um, equipment and machinery, and also materials. And for workers module, we are mainly looking at um, things around safety, such as the safety PPE compliances, and checking on the, whether the, the workers are wearing the safety hammer, the jacket, harness, so on. And we are also tracking on a lot of the dangerous behaviors uh, of the construction uh, workers. We are tracking on the danger zone uh, and some unauthorized access, access control, and also we are trying to define different work areas and how many workers are working there. Uh, for equipment and machinery, we are tracking on the times that these uh, equipment and machinery entering the construction site or different working zones, uh, but also we are tracking on the operation hours of different machinery and equipment in the construction areas. For materials, we are tracking on a different number um, uh, many different types of materials arriving at the construction site, the time of arrival, but also we are checking on the security measures uh, of those uh, material storage. Uh, we also uh, can detect uh, uh, construction waste management um, to send alert to different uh, engineers and officers. So for safety module, I just want to share with you like some uh, use case and example. So here's an example, it's like uh, in a site entrance, which is uh, checking on the safety PPE. So once our AI can detect uh, if the worker are entering the construction site without proper PPE, then we can send a mobile or desktop alert 
and to the, the mobile phone of the workers or the offices. So all the, these different stakeholders um, can be set uh, in our platform uh, for different uh, uh, authorizations or authorities to receive alerts. Um, or we also, due to the COVID-19, we have like a face mask detection, which is designed uh, mainly for the COVID-19 period. And so we're checking on whether the workers are wearing the face mask. And also we have other detection, which is basically checking on the uh, workers' uh, distance, distancing. So if we see the workers are walking too close, then we can look at the alerts. And we also have like a other, a based on the AI to detect the human gesture. Uh, and based on that, we can do detection on photo, we can do detection on dangerous behavior. Here's an example you see if the workers gesture, we can detect it is fall on the ground and, or it is become un unconscious on the ground, then we can send an alert uh, to the uh, emergency um, staff for help. We also have another module which is the danger zone. So for danger zone, we are checking on whether the workers are like uh, uh, walking too close to the machinery or if there's uh, a lot of like, accidents that happens that the machines are uh, crashing on the workers. So for our solution, basically, uh, it is a, uh, one of the proprietary things that we can do is doing a multi-object detections under the same cameras. So in the same camera, we can track on different things such as uh, workers, uh, vehicles, machinery, the in-out time uh, of the song, but also the, uh, uh, the counting as well. So we basically digitize all these data to our cloud solution platform for further analytics. We also have another way to do the danger zone, which is based on machinery, mobile machinery system. So in this uh, solution, we are deploying our AI solution as a hardware to different machines as well. So for this system, we have the uh, camera, we have the um, AI processors, we have like the uh, uh, monitors and the alarm. So when the workers are walking too close, then we can see in the middle of the screen, then uh, we can send an auto alert uh, the bus alarm to the operators inside the machinery and uh, it can avoid a lot of the accidents uh, because there's a lot of accidents in Hong Kong, especially when the construction sites are very small. The machine, when it turn, when it move in those small areas, then it's very easily like uh, uh, crashing on uh, different workers. Um, and we also have uh, another modules, uh, which is tracking on the gesture of the operators um, to see if he's uh, being distracted. Um, uh, if he's looking up or looking on the sign more than five seconds, then we can define this operator is being distracted. And uh, so uh, this is another way to actually track if the operators is paying attention to their work. We are also having other modules, which is basically detecting the gesture uh, of the workers. And this is more for training purpose of their specific tasks, but also to uh, improve their occupation health to make sure the gesture is correct to protect their, their body. And also uh, we have like a construction waste management for the material classification as well. So we are tracking on different uh, ways and how the people are illegally dumping those waste on the street and the construction waste classification as well. And, and we also can do a, a quality check there for, through our AI solutions as well. So basically it's detecting uh, different cracks, different uh, peeling of the wall and road. So as, uh, once again, the platform is actually very simple to use. Um, a lot of APIs that you can connect with different beam model. Um, of course, like uh, uh, what we highlight focus here is the Octodesk integration. Uh, we can extract the 3D model. We can uh, integrate with the forge of the Autodesk to send different alert or to view different card and dashboard. Um, and also uh, it's very easy to use as well. And um, so here's some of the example of dashboard. So basically um, we can free up a lot of the manpower from the uh, construction monitoring. So for the uh, Forge uh, integration, what we can do is that uh, we have two fronts. One is to integrate our solution uh, into the BIM360 dashboard. So in the 360 dashboard, uh, you can see all the data and all the FE uh, interface that we build on our platform extremely easily just through one login. But also we can do another integration 
basically you can view uh, all the events alert uh, through the project card. So basically you can see all these different alert in different time and it just uh, automatic updates. And in every uh, alert that we actually send out, you can view the videos and the pictures like uh, through one click. And so here's some example like how the dashboard can be seen. So we have, because we have uh, more than 30 different modules, so some of the modules is related to productivity, such as the dump truck counting. Some of the modules are relating more to, on the safety issues, such as uh, the safety hammer or PPE compliances. And you can view all this information and create different card on uh, BIM 360, um, so that uh, all the data can be synchronized and very easy to view all the data just in one go. So, um, here's a, like a, a video on the that dashboard, we can configure that issue to and sometimes into Autodesk. We can first select the hub with a container name, document folder, type, and lastly, subtype. Once the detail is saved, the configuration can be viewed from the dashboard. Entering to the BIM 360 project home, our dashboard and the project issue can be viewed in Autodesk iframe. You can see there are different kinds of detection. Take Danger Zone as an example. Our dashboard lists out all the alerts that data from the beginning of the project with media provided for reference. The alert can also be viewed from Autodesk itself. Click the detection in the project issues and the details will be presented in the template of Autodesk, listing out type, location, day, and issue owner. With clicking into the additional details, if the alert have media provided, it can be seen as well. Take alert 106 as an example. By going to the attachment, we can see a snapshot and a video detailing the alert just the same as our dashboard. So with uh, Autodesk Forge, uh, it is very easy to integrate our systems to communicate with the BIM 360 and all the data can transfer between the BIM 360 and VA. And so our programmer actually used less than a week to learn uh, the Forge and also can write this kind of integration extremely fast. And so the BIM 360 integration has extended its capability and allowed the users to use our smart AI monitoring systems and all the free 360 users can now have a single point of console and dashboards to monitor what's happening in the job site without really locking in the different system. And so feel free to try it out. And there's a free trial available as well. And so if you need further information and demonstration, please feel free to reach out to us and also the Autodesk for further information. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gary. It's the Q&A session now, and Gary is, of course, here to address your questions. So, Thank all right, you. we've received some questions from the audience. Gary, are you ready? Yes. So, uh, the first one is from Chloe. She asks, what is the minimum site setting required for implementing AI monitoring solution in construction? So today, if you want to implement an AI monitoring solution, actually it's quite simple. So there's two key elements to implement the AI monitoring solution for construction. One is electricity supply. So basically you can have your permanent power supply by any like a power source, uh, which can provide 220 uh, voltage, but also you can have like battery power, which is quite, quite common in the construction industry today as well. Second thing that is requires basically internet connection. So if some of the construction sites today, they already implement 5G, this is extremely ideal scenario for the uh, AI monitoring solution. But you can also do all the processing locally uh, within the construction site and do the 4G um, uh, internet connections as well. So actually anywhere that as long as they can receive the internet connection can do. I see. And Alex would like to know, what are the key benefits for AI monitoring solutions? Right, so this is a very good question. So for AI monitoring solutions, what we are trying to do is trying to automate the monitoring by human. So basically the key benefits is basically if you spend time uh, with a lot of safety officers and engineers walking around the construction site with your safety manager or construction managers and doing a lot of checking on site, basically you, you can save up to 70% of their labor cost or the times that they need to travel to the construction site, they need to look around the construction site, but still you have receive the real-time monitoring. So basically you can um, retrieve all the um, 
valuable information and data uh, in real time. And um, so that's the first benefit. Second benefit basically is uh, you can now uh, easily, uh, and, you know, one of the cheapest ways to retrieve a lot of the variable data from uh, AI monitoring. So some of the data is that, uh, for example, uh, what are the dynamic objects that is um, um, like moving around in the construction site? You want to track on different machinery, the operation hour in the construction site. You want to track your workers. So these are the informations that uh, before it wasn't available. Right now with AI monitoring, basically it's a very, very low cost solution that you can retrieve all these variable data for further analytics. Mm, I see. And Evan has a question for you. Saying, uh, do you have any customers in Hong Kong using your solutions? So yeah, so we have a lot of customers not only in Hong Kong but around the whole world as well. So we have customers uh, from Singapore, from Japan, from Taiwan, and of course China. Hong Kong is actually our base. So in Hong Kong, we are one of the leading solution provider for this solution. So we, yeah, we have a lot of construction company working. So basically, it's all over the world. Okay, Toby asked. What is the accuracy for a VACT AI monitoring solution? So one of the key things that when we do accuracy measurement is basically um, trying to measure like um, how accurate you can detect the object and things like that. So our accuracy can achieve more than 90% for most of the application scenario. And this is given by the fact that we have one of the largest uh, construction domain data in the construction site. So with that number of like uh, data that can empower the, uh, our AI models to predict things which is more accurate than uh, any other people. Okay, and I've just got an instant question, which is um, the last one. Isaac Leung asked, AI models are vulnerable to environment changes, which is a very common case for construction. Mm. And may I know if you have any ways to try to keep the performance? Mm. That's a very good question. So there's two ways that you can do it. One is in your AI algorithm, basically learn, self-learn uh, to improve the accuracy based on your specific environment itself. Second way is you have like a very strong team, um, AI team to keep retraining the programs to make sure that the accuracy can always achieve the highest level. And this is what we, we do both basically to maintain the accuracy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gary, for your time, for your sharing and your presentation.